If you ever wanted to make use of NVIDIA GameStream, what is arguably the best streaming solution out there, it might come as a surprise to you that you don't actually need to have an NVIDIA GPU as the host. Furthermore, you don't need GeForce Experience either. Thanks to the open source community, making use of GameStream is possible on Linux with Sunshine. In this video, we'll go over how to get the Steam Deck up and running as the host. Then we'll use another open source app, Moonlight, to get our client set up. And of course, you can use any device besides the deck if you prefer. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is open up the Sunshine repository on GitHub. Then go to the releases tab on your deck and in desktop mode, download the latest app image. You could technically install the flat pack, but I don't recommend this for two reasons. First, it will end up breaking discover. Every time you try to access the installed section, it will just crash the app. And then the other reason is that you will need to configure U input to create mouse and gamepad events. The app image takes care of this for you. Now let's go ahead and copy the app image to a convenient place, such as the desktop. Right click on it, go to properties and then choose the permissions tab. Then make sure that the app image is marked as executable. Now run it. It'll appear as if nothing happened, but if you launch your web browser and point the URL to https colon slash slash localhost colon 47990, you should be able to see that there's an app listening on that port. You'll probably get a warning about an insecure connection. Now, if you're feeling insecure about yourself at this point, then I honestly don't know what to tell you. The only way you're gonna be able to proceed is by clicking the show advanced and then click the proceed to localhost unsafe option. It's not unsafe, don't worry about it. You should now be presented with Sunshine's login interface. Create a username and password, and make sure that you write this down before you log in as you won't be able to recover this otherwise if you forget. Now the page will reload and enter the credentials into the pop-up window to proceed. If everything went well, you should now be greeted with the main interface. So the host is all set up. Now we need to get the client ready. But before we do that, I've got to ask, are you enjoying this video? Do you believe in the work that I'm doing? Why not like that smash button and smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the fun stuff we're doing here on the channel. We're about to hit 100,000 subscribers, and when we do, I'm gonna be giving away a Steam Deck. So make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss that. And thanks. Next, let's get the client set up. Moonlight, like Sunshine, is open source and available for Linux as an app image or a portable tarball. It's also available in the Arch user repository. Download it in whatever means you prefer. In most instances, if you're new to Linux, the app image should do fine. There's a link below to get started. In this configuration, I'm running Moonlight on my desktop, but you definitely could install Moonlight on your Steam Deck using the app image uh, and then stream games from your PC using NVIDIA GameStream. But anyway, note that the app probably won't pick up the host automatically. You'll need to manually enter the IP address of the host. So click add PC manually on the top right, then enter the local IP address of the host. If you're not sure what your deck's IP address is, you can click the Wi-Fi or Ethernet icon in the taskbar, choose the connection you're using, then click the details tab. Take note of the IPv4 address. After adding the IP address to Moonlight, your host should now be showing up. You'll notice that there's a little padlock icon on it though. To enable streaming to the deck or whatever you're using as the host, click on the device. You'll be shown a four digit pin. Quickly go back to your host, go to the pin tab in the Sunshine interface, and then add the pin. If you don't do this within 60-ish seconds, the connection will time out and you'll have to generate a new pin. If you did it in time though, the lock icon for the device in Moonlight should now be gone. You can now stream from your host to your client device. Note that the Steam option didn't work in my case and it probably won't work for you either, but in this configuration, you're free to stream the host's desktop. Before we move on though, I do wanna mention that if you're interested in streaming games from your PC using Nvidia's GameStream, you can skip the first part of this tutorial and just install Moonlight, this section of the tutorial, on your Steam Deck. Now, I don't really recommend adding individual games to stream from the host, as in my experience, it's been a bit buggy, but if for some reason you're worried about having the client have access to the entire system of the host machine, and you only wanna make specific games available, you can do that. Here, I'll be adding Guilty Gear Strive as an example for adding a Steam game. On the host, go to the Applications tab in the Sunshine interface. Click the Add New button. In the new list of options that appear, give the application a name. Under the Detached Command section, add this. Steam, Steam colon slash slash, run game ID slash, and then whatever the game ID is. In Guilty Gear's case, the app ID would be 1384160. 
Of course, you can replace this with any app ID that you have installed on your system. Now click the plus icon to add it. Click save at the bottom when done. If you want to run an emulator, for example, the commands are gonna be a little different. You would need to have the path to the executable file under command and then add the working directory under it. If everything went well, these applications should now be showing up in Moonlight. Try launching these applications and see what happens. You might need to mess around with some settings a little bit in order to get them working properly. And there are a few gutches here. There's a big settings menu for you to access in Moonlight. Here you can adjust many different options, including resolution, frame rate, V-Sync, audio, input, video codec, and more. By default, the resolution is set to 720p and the FPS is set to 60. I recommend keeping it this way if your host is the deck. Increasing the resolution will make the stream quality look better, but it comes at the downside of a lower frame rate. On the other hand, if the host isn't the deck and it is capable of rendering games at a higher resolution than 720p, then be my guest and mess around with these to your heart's content. I also would recommend connecting the host to the network via ethernet so as to minimize as much latency as possible. However, I've surprisingly had a decent experience streaming from my deck via Wi-Fi. Just keep in mind that there is a subtle, very subtle hint of input lag. Most games should still be fine, but for fighting games and other games that are fast paced, you may want to opt for ethernet instead. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you're streaming from a deck, game mode probably won't work in this situation. For me, it just ended up ending the stream. So streaming your games in desktop mode is probably the only route to do it here. Finally, sometimes you may get an error trying to stream from the host. The error might say something along the lines of not having the proper ports forwarded for your client. If this happens, you will need to go into the router settings and forward the necessary ports to your client. Based on my testing so far, I've had the following ports opened up. 47998 UDP, 48000 UDP, and 48010 TCP and UDP. Updating your port forwarding settings is going to be different depending on what router you're using. You'll generally need to enter the local IP address of the router into a web browser, log in using the default credentials, if you haven't changed them that is, and if you don't know what they are, do a quick Google search, or sometimes look at the sticker on the bottom of your router, and then go into the advanced settings. Here's an example of how to change it with a TP-Link router. This is the one Mark, my writer, used when writing the script. And in the settings here, make sure that the IP address matches the internal IP address of your client. I wanna give a big thanks to all of the developers behind both Sunshine and Moonlight for making quality streaming like this possible on Linux. Thank you guys. So what do you think? Do you wanna use Sunshine or Moonlight to set up your Steam Deck to stream? Let me know, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I wanna give a special shout out to my friends on Patreon and my YouTube members who make what I do here possible. It's because of these fine folks that I've been able to build this show into what it is today. If you believe in what I'm doing here and wanna help this show continue to grow, why not use the links below to become a Steam Deck warrior? And thanks. That's gonna do it for now though. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you next time.